last but not least the quarry have you heard about the game the quarry by um supermassive i have not it is um made by the studio that made uh the dark pictures anthology and uh until dawn um and they're making a new um player choice um horror game called the quarry that is um taking big inspiration from 80s horror movies um and they they had a 30 minute preview um not too long ago that looked really good the the um the graphical quality of the games have uh, shot up really high and um it, it, it looks good, but also um, there was some some more supplementary um, information from other previews from like uh, game journalists. There are going to be 186 unique endings. Um, they changed the, I don't know if you ever played Hotel Dawn or watched somebody play it, but um, I have. You know, the time events in those games, um, <laughs> and, yeah, they can be annoying because you can easily mess them up. So now they're making them a little bit easier and if you want them to be harder so that you can, you know, but potentially, you know, the fun of that game is that you could make a mistake and kill your character at any point. <laughs> That's kind of part of the fun of those types of games. Right, right, right. Um, right. So you can make it hard if you want, but they also um, changed it instead of having to press a button because, you know, depending on what console you're playing in order, what controller you're using on PC, the buttons might be different. So you just have to flick the stick for the, the um, quick time events, which I feel like might make them a little bit easier. It does, um, but I feel like I, I don't like it. I, I, I guess it's because I'm so used to button quick time events. I feel like yeah. that it's not as novel, you know? Yeah. But uh, there's also when shooting, instead of there being like a tiny reticle, you'll, there, like, you'll have a flashlight on your weapon. And as long as it's within the giant ring that the flashlight makes, you hit them. So it's easier to like, and until dawn, there's a part where if you miss a shot, the character just dies. <laughs> so they make it to where like it's harder to miss shots though it's still possible that way you don't kill a character just by making that 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 um that mistake but also something i thought was really cool you also had the option of turning off um quick time events altogether and also turning off shooting sections to let them automatically play and also where they like just hit the enemies every single time. So you can completely remove those options if you find those annoying and you only have the like the dialogue options. Um, but uh, they also have a, a call called movie mode that allows you to just watch the game play out. And you can choose um, a version where everyone dies, a version where everyone lives, or you can predetermine the behaviors of each character so that you can choose who lives and dies. And I thought that was really cool to be able to like not even have to really play the game and just choose how it goes and just watch it happen like a movie is dope i definitely agree because like i think my biggest problem with until dawn besides the graphics like uh when when it was first like becoming popular i was like wow this is so cool because all the the actors are like i don't remember what the term they used for it but the like the faces match the person who voice acted them that was super cool but like looking back on it is very uncanny like nowadays it's like almost scary <laughs> how they look but um i felt like like my biggest complaint with until dawn was like the fact that it felt like more often than not it felt like the choices didn't really matter like the that all the the branching storyline really? I feel like that's yeah. one of the games where the choices matter the most and um of all of those type of games that I've seen. Because mm -hmm. it's so easy to get a character killed and you know you yeah, have to that's help them survive. That's what I mean. Like the fact that um like it to me, and then this is like just because I haven't really like even thought about until dawn for a long time. It felt like the quick time events mattered more with a character's death than the actual dialogue options did. And I don't know, I just never really liked it. So I was like. For all that, you might as well just let me watch the story play out and then just throw quick time events at me every so often. But listening to how they're going to do the quarry, like I'm I'm excited because like, well, if I do end up getting it, I probably won't play in movie mode. I still think that's a really interesting option to have. Yeah, for people who just don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> they don't have to deal with that pressure of having to keep the characters alive. But um, some people that are part of the cast are um David Arquette, who plays um I forget the name of his character, but the, the cop in uh, Scream, um, the brother of um, the main character in Scream. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, they have uh, Ariel Winter, who plays um, the kind of nerdy daughter in um, Modern Family. Uh, uh, they have Justice Smith, who was in uh, Detective Pikachu, the main character. They have Sam Raimi's brother, Ted Raimi, who I recognize him because he was in Spider-Man too. <laughs> and Brenda Song. 
So, really? Yeah. Um, actually, um, was it uh, what is her name? Ashley Tisdale. She was in um some of their previous games. She was in a uh, one of the Dark Pictures anthology games. Um, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. So they have a you know they always get themselves a star to the cast. Uh, but yeah. Um, it also much like the Dark Pictures anthology. Um, is multiplayer, and you can have different people control. I think there are nine camp like counselors that you can control mm -hmm. um, like you can have you can uh, um, assign them to different people and i think I, I think that's really cool like giving one person a specific character like you got to keep that character alive my dude <laughs> um i think that's fine. i want to play this i just want to play this with some friends when it comes out i think it comes yeah out. it sounds like it would make for a fun game night that's for sure <laughs> But in terms of um story, because I mentioned it on the podcast before, but since um I mentioned it to you for the first time, I'll just read the synopsis here on their website. It's a late summer in the remote forest of upstate New York, and the teen counselors of Hackett's Quarry have the camp to themselves for one final night. That means no kids, no adults, and no rules. In this thrilling cinematic tale, you control the fates of all nine camp counselors as their party plans unravel into an unpredictable night of horror with life or death decisions around every turn. The choices you make will determine how the story unfolds. So yeah. Um... What else was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, I'll, there, there's a 30 minute preview that um you know you can check it out if you want to just see how the game um plays and how it looks um so far. Yeah, that's all I got. You know.